Hey, how you doing everyone? Uh, I did the other video and so I'm going to go ahead and do this one. I sort of said I wasn't going to do it, but then I did the other video about the Bioware dev leaving for Archetype. So now I actually feel like I want to do this one a lot more now because it's very relevant to the video you probably just watched just a minute ago. Gears of War Studio Head is leaving to work on Diablo. And I'm sort of jazzed about this because I'm super, super into Diablo. But it's really hard for me to get hyped for this because Blizzard's and well, of course, is involved because it's the Diablo series. And with uh, with the way they've been acting, as much as I'm hyped for this, I'm not quite at the point where I want to give them money. Uh, I'm definitely not going to be pre-ordering the game, but I'm still hyped for it. Maybe. Maybe in a few months after it gets done, maybe if they clean up their act and stop crapping the bed every 15 freaking seconds with some stupid controversy, uh, I would be willing to buy their game. But until then, uh, probably not. But, you know, enough of that. Let's go ahead and just read their article, shall we? Gears of War Studio Head is leaving to work on Diablo. Rod Ferguson will defect to Blizzard in March. Marcus sighed. Gears of War veteran Rod Ferguson has announced he will leave his role as studio head at the Coalition in March. Come that time, he'll be in charge of overseeing the Diablo series at Blizzard, presumably with a focus on Diablo 4. Nice. Ferguson made the announcement today on Twitter. It's a big move. Ferguson has worked on Gears of War since its inception in 2005, with the exception of a brief stint at Irrational Games during 2012 and 2013. When Microsoft announced it had purchased the Gears series from Epic Games in 2014, Ferguson returned to the series. Despite his short stint at Irrational, Ferguson has credits on every shipped Gears of War game. And this is his little tweets here. I began working on Gears of War over 15 years ago, and since then it's been the joy of my life, but now it's time for a new adventure. I leave Gears in the hands of the Coalition, and can't wait for everyone to play Gears Tactics. Tactics. Ta -ta 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 tactics. Uh, on, to April 20, uh, on April 28th. And here is a little shot of Gears Tactics. I don't know much about it, but it looks cool, and I love the Gears of War series. What's this? Another tweet by Mr. Ferguson? By Senior Ferguson? Starting in March, I will join Blizzard to oversee the Diablo franchise. Leaving is bittersweet, as I love her Gears family, the fans, and everyone at the Coalition and Xbox. Thank you. It has been an honor and a privilege to work with you all. And you know, you have all the, the people over here who are like, Yay! I'm in the picture! Yay! And all that stuff. But anyway... The last Gears game with Ferguson's involvement will be Gear Tactics, which is set to release on April 28th. Gears 5 released last year to decent acclaim, with a review writing that it's a polished and surprisingly varied campaign married to stalwart PvE and PvP modes, which gently redefine the oh, which gently refine the classic Gears experience. Not sure if that's backhanded. Not not sure if that's sort of like, it's old and quaint, and if you loved it in the past, Grandpa, then, you know, I guess you'll like it now. But today, uh, today's society, we value mobile games and Candy Crush and... Oh, fuck PC Gamer. The news comes after a series of high-profile departures from Blizzard last year. You know, when they... Uh, high-profile meaning... Blizzard uh, sacked the shit out of everyone about, uh, like, what was it, 100-something employees, as from Heel vs. Babyface, uh, from Heel vs. Uh, as from Heel vs. Babyface said 800, I thought, in a video, a few videos of his a few days ago. I, I could be misremembering that, but it was a buttload of people. <sighs> Founders Mike Pierce and Mike Mor Morheim, 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 Morhumi, Morhami, uh, both left the company during 2019, fired, while former Hearthstone Heroes of the Storm director Dustin Browder, Eric Dodds, and Jason Chase were also among the leavers, also among the ones who were fired. And that's pretty much it right there. Uh, I'm, I'm still very hyped for uh, Diablo 4. 
despite the fact that it hasn't uh, the blizzard hasn't really done a whole lot to capture my interest or uh, keep me interested at all in supporting their company I mean if you really think about the last two years well the last year year and a half alone uh, already has been uh, a, a total mess for them and they don't even seem to care or learn from their mistakes I mean it's barely like what a month and a half into the new year and they already have like what one two huge controversies already they can't stop screwing up and even though this is a huge huge get for him uh, he might not last because in the other video I was talking about the other big writer from Bioware uh, wanting to leave because it was getting quote unquote too corporate. Well, this guy here, he seems to ha be in the same camp as that dude. You know, he want he wants to uh, work on something that's a passion, and he doesn't want a job. Who the hell wants a job? Jobs suck. And so you, you want to work on something that you love. You know, that way you're never working a day in your life. But this dude's probably going to be in for a real unfortunate or rude awakening because if he didn't, if he left because of a, because of a, it was quote unquote too corporate or maybe he thought that they weren't going in the right direction, you know, et cetera, et cetera, usual fucking, uh, well, the, the usual t uh, types of, uh, excuses or, or wants or desires to leave a company he's probably not going to find what he wants at blizzard blizzard will chew him up and spit him out because they've done that to multiple great uh game developers over just the last few years alone uh blizzard's very unappreciative of the the people that it has that it has working for him because they'll just they'll just throw them under the bus. It, it's like nothing uh, to those people. They they want your labor. They want your uh, uh, your time and your life. But they don't want to really give you anything for it. And they'll probably just fire them in another round of layoffs when that inevitably happens. Because they screwed the pooch on on a launch of a game, uh, probably Diablo Four. Or they'll have something incredibly stupid like microtransactions in the single player aspect of the game. Uh, either way, as much as I'm happy for this guy, uh, I wouldn't hold my breath if I were him. And he's probably not going to last very long at Blizzard because they'll chew him up and spit him out without a care. Unless uh, Blizzard wants to prove me wrong on this, and I'm willing to be proved wrong. I don't mind saying that I'm wrong. I'm willing to give anyone the benefit of the doubt. But anyway, if you liked the vid, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and sub to the channel because it helps me immensely. And uh, turn on notifications for when I upload other videos. Okie dokie. Okie dokie. Bye. Thanks for watching the video. I appreciate it. Ta-ta. Oh, uh -huh.